We got a, a lovely little waterfall on the River Tees. We've got an opportunity here. I've, I've just had a little look behind. We've got an opportunity here to frame, uh, to use two trees to frame the actual waterfall itself. Um, been here lots of times and got loads of standard shots of the falls. Uh, and today I'm working with a, a new lens to me, which is the uh, 70 to 200 um, Canon L series lens. So the light now is just just starting to fall onto the onto the trees at the, in the back of the, the frame, in the back of the composition. So it does look um, a little bit better. Just if you think, wondering why I'm I'm a little bit distracted sometimes. There's a load of lambs just jumped over that wall. I'll see if I can catch them in this. In fact, they might make a, be a better shot than these than these waterfalls, but uh, we'll never have time to get set up again, unfortunately. But there you go. However, back to this shot. Um, it looks really nice by them trees, so I'm, I'm just going to get set up there. I think we'll manage this even without filters. We might have to try a filter on. We'll just see. Wow, the, the light is just catching these trees now. Absolutely incredible. Um, it's one of, those, I'm, one of those situations at the moment, you want to be everywhere at once. It, <laughs> it's one of those mornings where you think, well, the light's a bit flat because the sky's perfectly blue, there's no clouds, so we're not going to get any colour, but... Yeah, this, this is beautiful, this. Yeah. But it's great. Just being here, you don't... Sometimes it, you don't necessarily feel like photographing. Just put your video camera on, record, and just enjoy every moment of it. It's, it's just incredible when it's like this, especially when there's nobody about as well. It really is good. So this is going to be the first shot. Oh, and the first thing to do is make sure that you turn off the image stabilization on the end lens. And I'll show you two examples here. I'll show you an example with the image stabilization switched on which causes a blurry image and one where it's switched off as well so there's the shot without the image stabilization the lens turned on and now I'm just going to set the lens stabilization to on and as you'll see in a second massive difference very very blurred <clears throat> and that where it gets blurred is simply the the lens optics moving. Okay, so two second timer. First image. Yep, lovely tack sharp image there. Right, I've just moved on a little bit further. Um, from the last location, just a little bit close to the waterfall really. This time I'm going to use uh, a branch that's sticking out over the top of the uh, waterfall. Um, hopefully, um, what I'm hoping to do here is push the eye more towards the centre of the frame uh, to ca capture the waterfall. So the sky is a bit plain now, uh, it, it keeps clouding over and then it's, the, the, you know, the sun comes out again, so I'll, I'll just have to try it. I'm quite happy with that image. I think of, of the two images, I think this one's the better image. The light's a little bit better, uh, and, and that it covers a little bit more of the falls. Yes, it, it does keep coming and going, but it's not too bad. Um, but yes, I, I think that's, that's the best of the two images. Well, as you can see, we've, we've moved on a little bit further. On the other side of the river now. Um, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, so we're on the other side of the river. What I've decided to do this time, sticking with the theme of using frames to, or natural features to lead the eye into the image, what I've decided to do this time is use the trees on the right-hand side and the dark volcanic windsill rocks on the left-hand side to 
as, as the frame itself, so that your, your eyes led straight to the waterfall. The other important thing I've done, I've decided not to use a polarising filter. The, the River Tees is, is quite a dark river to start with. It, it's got a lot of peat sediment from the from the moors, so it tends to run quite dark. And what I've decided to do instead is to allow the white reflecting clouds to, for that to appear in the river uh, as, as a slightly whiter, more reflective surface. Um, I think I prefer that. Generally, I'll try one of each, but uh, I think today it just warrants not doing that and, and having a having the slightly whiter water to lead the eye into the, into the shot. So you're going to follow the, the river to the waterfall. Don't know whether you can hear me, but um, I've moved up right next to the waterfall. You'll, you may hear me, you may not. But anyway, I'm going to swap over a little bit now, go away from the telephoto lens, the, the 70 to 200, uh, go back to a, a wider angle lens and try a few shots here. I think one of the shots I might try is a, is a panorama shot. Just one tip you might have noticed, or one thing you might have noticed was I put my hand in front of the lens and took a shot with my hand in front of it. That's to tell me it's the start of a panorama. So after I've took the next number of shots, so let's say six or eight shots, as I, as I move round steadily round to take the panorama, I then put my hand in front of it again and take another shot. And I know between the two hands, as it were, that those frames are the panorama shots because it's, it's very, very easy to get confused, especially when you get back home on the computer and a bit of time's passed. Um, you don't you don't always remember which which pictures were part of that panorama shot. Yeah, we've headed a little bit further upstream now just for one last shot it's such a beautiful morning just can't resist staying out and on this occasion the, the light is full on the fall so it's a little bit too bright I'm going to try using a six stop usual density filter just to knock the light down a little bit so anyway this is the last shot before we move on it's been absolutely staggeringly beautiful morning um, absolutely can't fault today's photography. I've no idea if the pictures will be brilliant or not, but just being out has just been great.